7 steps, to turn an enemy into a friend. And be close to any enemy. Welcome to Lifestyle Therapy Channel, stay tuned. To get access to the latest from Lifestyle Therapy, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Number 1, Refuse to be their enemy. First, understand that no one can make you fight. You can consciously choose not to participate in hostility, no matter what the provocation. You have the power to decline their offer of war. So whatever the situation, you can alter the dynamics in an instant, by removing yourself from the fight. By doing so, you will have changed the situation from a two-sided feud, to a one-sided non-dispute. Number 2, Forgive the person. Let them know that you forgive them for hurting you. Forgive them truly in your heart. They may remain hostile for a while. But, if you persevere and maintain an attitude of forgiveness toward them, they will eventually respond to your desire for reconciliation and peace. Number 3. Let this person know that you are sincere. This can't be done completely through talking, actions speak louder than words. Smile when you see them and go out of your way to be nice. Tell them nice things they want here, but they should respect you too. If you don't feel as though a talk with your enemy is necessary, or you want to be on friendly terms, but not necessarily friends, you can start by just smiling, and being nice to them when you see them in the halls. This will show your enemy that you no longer hold a grudge, and hopefully they will follow your lead. Number 4. Do them a favor. Favors are perfect for swaying someone, no matter which way they go. When you do your enemy a favor without being asked, you prime them for reciprocity later. People don't like to feel like they owe someone something, so they'll start to look for ways to help you later. Number 5. Praise them behind their back. Often more powerful and sometimes more appropriate than telling the person directly, is to share your appreciation for them with their friends and colleagues. Even if most people talk negatively behind your enemy's back, your role is to constantly come back to the good you uncovered earlier. Third party praise is a powerful thing, as long as it's true. It will eventually get back to the receiver. Plus, hearing your genuine praise about someone close to them, will likely cause their friends to like you more as well. And if you all your friends like someone, what are the odds that you eventually start to feel the same? Number 6. Make them believe you aren't their enemy. Well, either by hook or by crook, you just make your enemy believe that you aren't their rivals. That can only happen when you know them well. And also, you have to convince yourself, you don't hate them. The important thing here, is to note that how you indulge with your enemy. I know it can be little difficult working with your enemy. But, knowing your enemy well, will help you to get through the conflicts and develop the bond of friendship. Number 7, Love Your Enemy. Loving your enemy creates the possibility of friendship. Love is life-giving, even in harsh soil. Plant your seeds of love today, and watch them grow into something beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you find it useful, don't forget to share it, and make sure to subscribe to see more video in the future. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.